justification. Those whom God effectually called, he also freely justified, not by infusing righteousness on into them, but by pardoning their sins and by accounting and accepting their persons as righteous, not for anything wrong in them and done by them, but for Christ's sake alone, not by putting faith itself, the act of believing, or any other evangelical obedience to them as their righteousness, but by imputing the obedience and satisfaction of Christ unto them, the receiving and resting on him and his righteousness by faith, which faith they have not of themselves, it is the gift of God. Faith, thus receiving and resting on Christ and his righteousness, is the alone instrument of justification. Yet it is not alone in the person justified, but is ever accompanied with all other saving graces, and is no dead faith, but walk by love. Christ, by his obedience and death, did fully discharge the debt of all those that are thus justified, and did make a proper seal and full satisfaction on his father of his father's justice in their behalf. Yet inasmuch as he was given by the Father for them, and his obedience and satisfa satisfaction accepted in their stead, in their state, and bought freely, not for anything in them, their justification is only of free grace that both the exact justice and rich grace of God might be glorified in the justification of sinners. God did for all eternity decree to justify the elect, and Christ did in the fullness of time die for their sins and rise again for their justification. Nevertheless, they are not justified until the Holy Spirit does, in due time, actually apply Christ unto them. God does continue to go forgive the sins of those that are justified, and, though, and although they can never fall, them, fall from the state of just, justification, yet they may by their sins fall under God's fatherly displeasure, and not have the light of his countenance restored unto them, until they humble their, themselves, confess their sins, beg pardon, and renew their faith and repentance. Repentance. The justification of believers under the Old Testament was, in all this respect, one and the same with the justification of believers under the New Testament.